so it is 11 o'clock at night 11 p.m and i was gonna go to sleep but i couldn't because rigid finally announces a tool that everybody has been waiting for yes they shot the email over probably around 9 9 30 ish and i was going to wait until you know early morning to record this but i wanted to get this out early for you this is probably one of the most anticipated freaking tools from rigid ever announced i have seen so many comments about this tool and people wanting this tool that i had to get this video up for you now i'm going to show you some of these pictures that were just released we're going to talk about some of the specs the release date all that good stuff so hopefully we'll get you some good information on this new rigid portable bandsaw but before we do i want to show you what's coming up this weekend so if you are subscribed great you're going to see it if you're not get subscribed hit that bell notification so you don't miss it check this out Boom. There you go, the brand new Milwaukee M12 oscillating tool. That's right, just got it today. We're gonna have the video up this weekend on this bad boy. A lot of people been waiting for this. So if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. We're gonna test this bad boy out. We're gonna slice and dice, use and abuse this weekend. I apologize. I got very excited about that tool. I've been waiting for that tool for a long time. And speaking about waiting for a tool for a long time, here it is that's your look at the rigid 18 volt bandsaw now there's one thing that's sort of standing out to me well maybe it's not standing out to me which i'll point out here in a bit but let's take an overview we got more pictures of this and then we're going to talk about the specs which i'm sure you're going to want to know about but right off the bat i'm seeing that led light there's something about that orange and that black and that shiny shiny silver that just really i don't know i like it but you can see it sort of looks like the Ryobi a little bit, but the one thing I'm not seeing is a safety lock up here. A lot of people do not like that safety feature. They do have one right here, however, so you don't have to worry about the two-handed operation all the time. Even though you probably should use two hands, I understand some people, they just don't like that. So that's not there. Uh, you know, so far so good. Let's look at another picture. All right, so more of a top side view maybe but again there's your release your blade release and you know you get the handle got the nice grip up there it looks like you got some traction and uh you know you got that traction up there so if your hands are wet you're not gonna slip now i have not used this yet i'm hoping to get one to the channel but rigid man they're changing the way they're doing things they they don't like this channel for some reason i don't know maybe i made them mad hmm. but nonetheless we got it here we're taking a look at the specs now you do got the rafter hook right there you also have that speed control which i'll show you here in a bit but i like that they added the rafter hook anything extra is a plus and when you're using one of these you would be surprised and i'm sure you can say the same thing you would be surprised how much you actually use this stuff especially if you're a plumber or somebody is in the trades that when you're done cutting something you don't want to carry this thing up and down a ladder set it down or whatever you want to be able to hang this on your work area or your ladder or your scaffold or whatever you're using that is a good thing that they added that so i'm happy about that all right your speed control knob right there pretty nice should be easy to get to again this is looking a little bit like the ryobi but the ryobi does not have that speed control so i'm glad that they added it on the rigid and boom there's another one with your hook your raptor hook right there so that's pretty nice or should i say real nice like if you're working you just throw that thing right up on there but check that out i like that speed dial we're going to talk about how fast this thing's going to go here in a second but we got another couple pictures here to look at and we'll get to that so this is what i'm talking about folks so you're working up on top like this and instead of climbing up and down that ladder when you're done cutting you can just hang that right there make sure you rope off your area so nobody's walking underneath in case that thing falls you know you don't want no boo-boos on the site but what i'm saying is that is a huge plus to have that raptor hook and i know i'm making a big deal but whatever now there is one thing i want to point out before we get to the specs and i'm not seeing this on this new rigid 18 volt bandsaw and that is the rigid logo whoa that doesn't make any sense to me everything they've been coming out with have been the rigid octane and the logo so why is that not on there I'm curious i'm just curious of why maybe they're not pushing it as hard and maybe this is a you know i just don't know but i think that if you are coming out with a line that's octane and you're saying that you have more power with the octane batteries and smart batteries you should make every new tool that comes out of your line an octane tool now that being said 
you can run the octane batteries if you have them on this or you can run your basic 18 volt non octane smart batteries on this any rigid 18 volt battery will work on this and that's a good thing now i done already showed this picture but what this does is it just kind of encompasses everything here you got that metal guard i would assume it's metal i would hope it's metal um but you got that that stopper right there it's all going to be metal it looks like a pretty nice unit you know you do got that safety switch right here not down here you know it looks pretty nice it does it looks pretty nice i'll give it to him i think it looks pretty tough all right let's get to the meat of it this is what you're looking for the rigid 18 volt compact bandsaw information all right fall 2020 well it is fall 2020 so october november hmm not really sure i'm guessing probably november it is september right now it's heading into october within a week so i would say soon you're gonna see this in the stores pretty nice lightweight and ergonomic design variable speed dial provides 320 up to 680 surface feet per minute yeah and two and a half inch cut capacity so not bad not bad the price this is what you're looking for i'm sure 179 dollar so that's what it's going for and i'm guessing that is without the battery so price it seems a little bit high to me but it is what it is 179 includes one 18 volt compact two and a half inch bandsaw one okay so you get the blade okay but no battery i was hoping to see a battery down there no which i'm sure they'll have a kit so right here you can read this yourself i'll also copy and paste this and put it down in the description for you to check out but there's your benefits two and a half inch cut capacity 32 7 8 of an inch blade used for cutting threaded rod black pipe pvc conduit you know unistrut all that stuff so electricians um plumbers all those guys and gals out there you know angle iron and wood um this is going to offer a lot for a lot of people if you are in that rigid platform which is nice a lot of people have been waiting for this i'm just telling you uh lightweight it doesn't really say that i'm seeing the uh, the weight for this but you know i'm sure it'll be out soon ergonomic design integrated rafter hook we talked about that uh toolless blade change we looked at that that is right here pretty nice uh, i would hope it's toolless led light 100 compatible works with all rigid 18 volt batteries tools and chargers just like we talked about lifetime service agreement with registration within 90 days of purchase some people say you know it's not as good as it's made out to be but whatever you know they offer it battery and charger sold separately and there's a separate picture down there so really in a nutshell folks uh this is what we're looking at here the rigid 18 volt compact bandsaw but not octane version now of course i am curious to know what you think again i have mentioned this a lot of people have been waiting for this bandsaw and it's one of the most requested tools that i have ever seen for really any brand i mean that is the one thing that everybody talked about was we need a bandsaw compact bandsaw from rigid a lot of people in that line a lot of plumbers a lot of electricians a lot of people in general wanted this so i'm glad to see that they put it out there i'm glad to see they're coming out they took some heat you know uh three four months ago when they came out with their compact tools this is what people were yelling about they wanted this saw and then uh, immediately after they started saying hey we're coming out with new tools but this is it and here are the specs and here are the pictures and uh, i'm excited about it i'm hoping to get one to the channel like i said rigid you know i don't know what's going on with them anymore they used to allow us to see things but not so much anymore it's uh they really clamped down you know hopefully we can get one to the channel and test it out and make sure that it's doing what it's supposed to do you know rigid you know they've been stingy lately so we'll see maybe they didn't like something that i said about one of their tools or or whatever but uh it is what it is we're honest here and, and we put them through the paces and if they work they work and if they don't they don't so uh, you know i'm excited about it hope to see it here and uh, i'm gonna reach out to them and see if they'll send one over for us to take a look at but that being said i'm curious to know what you think leave me a comment in the comment section you know are you excited about this i would imagine if you're a rigid owner if you're in that platform you're probably pretty excited about this you know do you like the design the specs on it 
I'm curious. Leave me a comment in the comment section. I love hearing your feedback. It's always uh, it's always a treat to hear what you all think about these tools that we bring to the channel. Now, don't forget this weekend, we're going to bring that M12 oscillating tool that a lot of other people have been waiting for. If you're in the Milwaukee platform, man, that is a tool that a lot of people have been asking for. And uh, I am excited to try that. So we're going to have that here this weekend. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. I'll see you here this weekend. I appreciate you stopping by. Don't forget to smash that like button. Get subscribed. Hit that bell notification. And we will be back with more videos soon.